Hello and welcome. This is English Family and Friends 6, Grade 6, Semester 1, Unit 2, Will It Really Happen? Lesson 3, Grammar. Today we are tackling three objectives and they are to identify time markers that indicate the future, to use time markers with well accurately, to write future sentences with well and time markers. Remember, the simple future tense is used to talk about things or actions that haven't happened yet or actions that will begin and end in the future. Here is a conversation between two boys. Let's read the conversation together. When will we play football? In a month's time. Or next week. Or on Monday. Or this afternoon. Or we can say tomorrow. Soon. Later. Here are some examples of time markers that indicate the future. In a month's time, next week, we can say next um, month, next year, on Monday, on Tuesday, this afternoon, tomorrow, soon, later. Here we have got a table and in each day of the week there is a different activity. Here is a conversation between these two boys. We will read the conversation and we will refer to the schedule above. When will we go to the birthday party? He answers on Saturday. See, there is a cake on Saturday. When will you study for the test? In three days time. When will you do the online search? This evening or we can say today. When will we celebrate the national day? In which day you can see a picture that refers to the national day? Here it is. These are some kids. They are holding the flag of Bahrain on Thursday. So this Thursday. When will we clean the garden? Any picture that refers to the garden? Here it is, which is Monday, because today is Sunday and it is tomorrow. Today is Sunday, it is tomorrow, okay? When will you have a piano lesson? The day after tomorrow. Because today is Sunday and the day after tomorrow, which is Tuesday. When will the family gathering be? This Friday. Here we have got a paragraph and we need to read the paragraph and order the pictures first and then we need to circle the time markers. You have got five minutes to do this task.
Now it's time to check your answers. My friends will visit me today. Their father will walk them to my house. Which picture you think is number one? This is number one. When they arrive, we'll do our homework. Which picture you think is number two? Here is number two. Then we'll meet our other three friends in the playground next to our house. Which picture you think is number three? This is number three. Later, we will play and slide in the playground for a short time. In which picture you can see a slide? This is number four. Then we'll go home. Next week, we'll play football. In which picture you can see the boys playing football? This is number five. And clean up the playground. This is the last picture, of course. You can see the kids are cleaning the playground. Very good. Now, let's move on and circle the time markers. Today, then, later, then, next week. Here, we have got some pictures, and what we need to do is to write about what we will be doing at these times. You have got five minutes for this exercise. Now, check some of the possible answers. One, tonight I will be helping my mother. Two, tomorrow I will do a class presentation. Three, I will be reading a lot of new books next school holiday. Four, I will finish primary school in two years time. In this task, I want you to imagine what your life will be like in the future. Answer the questions and draw a picture. Use the time markers or your own ideas. The time markers like later, in five years time, next year, soon, and 10 years time. I think you may need a pen and a paper or a mini board and a marker so that you can do this task. You'll be having eight minutes to do this task. You can start now.
Now, let's check some of the possible answers. 1. What will you study? In the future, I will study rocket science. Very good. 2. What job will you do? In 10 years' time, I will be working in a rocket factory. 3. Where will you live? Who knows? Soon, I will be living on the moon. Wow, that's cool! 4. How will you travel? In 20 years' time, I will travel by super fast planes. Marvelous! This is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for watching.